Good morning and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco. Today, I'm joined by Jeanette, and we will be talking about Odoo Link Tracker. Thank you for joining us today, Anjanette. All right, well, thank you so much for that introduction, Noah. Sure. Uh, let's see, as always, we'll be here to answer any questions that you may have about Odoo Link Tracker. You can leave them below in the chat, and we'll try and answer them as we go along, or at the end of Anjanette's presentation. Uh, let's see, if you can't for any reason, or if we don't get to your question or have a more technical question that you would like to ask, please feel free to send us an email either to webinars at odoo.com or directly to Anjanette, and her email address is anj at odoo.com. Uh, if you miss, if you showed up late or want to watch this webinar at any time, you can use the same link that brought you here to watch this video whenever you like. So, without further ado, I'm going to kick it over to you. Take it away, Anjanette. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right. As mentioned, I will be explaining the Odoo Link Tracker. And just as a little quote here, know exactly which marketing sources are profitable and which ones aren't. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the introduction of the Link Tracker. And then we're going to go into how it works while I'll be demonstrating how to utilize it within the Odoo platform. And of course, any statistics and analytic reports that come with the link tracker. And at the very end, I'll go ahead and do a QA. and a Okay? All right, so the Odoo link tracker. So what the link tracker basically does is what it sounds like. You know, you create uh, different sources and campaigns and different streams of marketing with web pages. And then with the Odoo Link Tracker, you have the ability to kind of follow your campaigns throughout and kind of see where your traffic on your websites are being generated, which campaigns are effective, and then, of course, um, to see which ones you can compare to and keep continuing with or, you know, stop ultimately. So let's go ahead and go into how does it work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to a different screen real quickly. Bear with me. So right here, as you can see on the screen, we are at the Odoo Link Tracker, just as um, you know, a preliminary. I am using a demo database, so this has mock information already created. But how you would come into the Link Tracker is you would typically type in odoo.com slash r, and it'll ask for your login credentials. So of course, if you already have an Odoo account, and this is something that you're using for marketing, that's where you would find it. And then right here, it's going to be the link tracker. So as you can see, you could put in any URL. So this is primarily where you're going to be putting your campaigning information. And then, of course, the mediums and then the sources of the actual page site. And down at the bottom, just as a quick view, you'll be able to see the track links that you already have. So with that being said, uh, at a glance, you can see the number of clicks. And um, depending on what URL and the track link that it's comparing to, you could easily copy this link address and then post it onto any sites. So for example, if you're doing a Facebook campaign and you want to use this link tracker, you would easily just copy it and post it right into the Facebook post. And then, of course, with this, you can view the statistics. But to give you guys a better sense of how the link tracker is actually used, I'll go ahead and show you guys in real time how we use it here internally. All right. So as you can see, this link tracker has a lot of more data um, compromised in it. So as you can see, you could do tracking in the, the most clicks or the recently used, and of course, your newest track links. So for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and show you um, the most clicks. So as you can see, on our actual Odoo website, the most traffic that we generate in terms of clicks is onto our jobs, you know, website link. And then, of course, any scheduled appointments. And then going down the line, that's pretty much what you'll be able to see. And then going into just the simple stats of one of the track links, let's go ahead and just pick the first one here. All right, bear with us as this loads up. So at a glance, you'll see the different statistics. So as I mentioned earlier, when you're creating the track link, you have the ability to attach any campaigns that you're currently utilizing, of course, the medium sources. So as you can see, we're doing a recruiting campaign. 
and then we're using Google AdWords for a medium and then this is going to be a display placement on pretty much the search engines and then with that being said you could see um, the number of clicks that were generated and then of course you could see what countries are actually coming from and then you could go down to a more granular statistics and more analytics by going into the last month and last week so that's pretty much how the um, link tracker works at a glance but real quickly I'll show you guys how to use it on the back end as well alright so again I'm just using a demo database here and then um, through your normal database, the link tracker isn't going to be readily available. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the settings. And then at the right side here, you're going to see activate the developer mode. So once you've clicked that, you'll see this additional little bug icon up at the top. So that's how you know you're in the developer mode. So going back into the dashboard, now you're going to be able to see the icon for the link tracker. So by clicking into it here, uh, this is just another reflection of the previous page that we saw, but just in the back end here. So as you can see, it's going to have the list of your tracked links and then your target URLs. And then, of course, the number of clicks are going to be represented at the side here. But in this, data, um, in this demo database, there's not a lot that I could show you in terms of the statistics, but it's more over to show you kind of how it works here. So by clicking into one of the track links that were already created here, you're going to be able to see which page you're associating the track link to and the original URL of which it's coming from. And then, of course, you could go ahead and visit the page from the back end and see the number of clicks. And again, uh, you'll see the different campaigns and medium sources that you'll see down at the bottom. And then up at the top, uh, depending on the different UTMs or shall we say, the urchin tracking modules that usually Google utilizes to show um, it's kind of the extensions that you would see in this long URL so for example um, as you could see you'll see the different source types the different views and things of that nature that's primarily where these UTMs are going to fall into place so if you guys want to see how this actually would work in terms of seeing your marketing campaigns and things of that nature We'll see how the link tracker can be associated with the CRM application just real quickly. So within this demo database, you have the ability to kind of group things by campaign, the medium, or the source. This has a direct correlation to the link trackers. So that way, uh, with the track links, you could see the different campaigns that these now these leads were associated to. So if you're trying to reference things um, such as an ROI, for example, you could see that these leads were actually generated from the campaigns that you guys put up. So that's primarily how you guys would see the actual utilization of the link trackers. So now it's being associated back into how it would be translated into using Odoo. So, um, that's pretty much how it looks within a general regard. There's not um, a lot of intricate functionalities that can happen with the link tracker. But of course, to go down in a different granular sense as well, if we want to elaborate a little bit on how to use the links or kind of customize them in a sense, we can also go into the website application. And from here, if we go into the configurations, we could go into what we call the redirects. So redirects and link tracking can be associated and combined into one. So say for example, when we go into the link trackers, you could see these URLs kind of have their own types of um, three digit codings, let's say. But if you want to make it easier for the consumer or your audience to find something with a click, but you still want that link to be tracked, you can layer a redirect on top of the link tracker. So let's say, for example, if you wanted to create a redirection, we could go ahead and say, for example, if you created a new page and you want to move them permanently to that page, we could go ahead and associate it with that. And then we could go ahead and redirect from, let's take this URL here, and then put it down here and then we can go ahead and redirect this too. So let's go ahead and just go on this 
page first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it seems that since we're using a demo database, it's not going to let me associate the redirection to this page here. So let's go ahead and see if I could do it in real time real quickly. Sorry about that. Just bear with me for just a quick second here. Okay, so instead of, you know, actually creating the redirection for you guys, let me go ahead and just re-explain it on this page here. Since this is the actual production that we have, so as you can see, the original URL has a bunch of different extensions into it, but then the track link has been layered in addition to that. So, and what I mean by actually tracking this URL up at the top here is that this link track is placed under it, so that is going to be redirected into this, you know, extensive URL link that we see here. So by using the redirection in the link tracker, you're not going to have to see this elaborate URL that has your different UCMs in it, but in that sense, you're still going to be able to see what campaigns you guys have posted it through and what mediums you guys are posting this actual track link through. So again, if that was kind of a scattered explanation, it's just to show you guys that using the link tracker and the redirect is another tool in helping you guys find out where your traffic is being generated through. And that's pretty much the explanation of how the link tracker works. I again apologize for the little glitch that we had in showing you how the redirection actually works. But if you guys have any other additional questions, please feel free to send me an email. Or of course, uh, leave us a comment below since I will now be answering any Q&A questions that are coming in. That is great. <clears throat> Sorry, that is great. Thank you, Anjanette. Uh, while I let people go ahead and ask, see if they have any questions, looks like we actually don't have that many in the chat. Uh, what are some common questions that uh, that we here? Here are some common questions that we might get in relation to Link Tracker. Uh, so, for instance, can you remove the slash r slash on a link? Uh, so, not necessarily. You can't remove the the backslash for the r, but you can add, like I said, a, a redirect on top of the track link that you have. Because if you remove the R, it's actually not going to do its functionality of tracking the link. Good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. How about, how about this one? Can a tracked link have more than one campaign medium or source? So just to put it plainly, it can. But we usually don't advise doing that. Because the purpose of having um, any of the UTMs included in the track link um, if you add multiple, it kind of defeats the purpose because say for example, if you're trying to track a certain link based on one campaign, you wouldn't want to have any additional because you won't have a primary source for these um, analytics or any of the reportings right. that you guys may have. So you don't want to confuse the system as much as you don't want to confuse the people who are reading these reports. Right, exactly. Okay, well then, uh, let's see, again, while we're waiting, if anybody has any additional questions, uh, here's another common one. Is there, is there a technical limit to the number of tracked links that you can create? Um, well, not necessarily. So we, we don't really have a, a definite technical limit. But say, for example, if you manually want to limit the track links that you create, you can definitely do that. But you can generate as many as you'd like as well. So in that sense, there, it's pretty much, there's no technical limits involved. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, uh, while we wait for people to send us any last-minute questions, uh, if you showed up late, you can use this same link to watch this webinar, all or part of it, whatever you need, and uh, it should be live on YouTube. Uh, if you have any additional questions, you can send them to us at webinars at odoo.com or to speak to Anjanette specifically. Actually, why don't you throw up your... Uh, um, uh, contact information <laughs> slide there at the end. All right, let's um, go ahead and do We're that. also in the era of Odoo Tours, 
There we go. Yeah, that guy. Uh, we're also in the Odoo Tour season, so we've got tons of events happening here in this country. Uh, for instance, we've got Chicago, Indianapolis, Atlanta, D.C., Boston. We'll even be in Dallas and in Austin in the coming months. So if you want to see us in real time, see us that we're <laughs> actually live human beings of flesh and blood, uh, stop by one of those events. And of course, uh, we have tons happening uh, internationally as well, including Bogota and uh, Guadalajara. And you can find all of that information at odoo.com slash events. So let's see, without any further ado, if there aren't any other... Oh, hang on. Looks like we do have one final question here. All right. From Omnisite. When using social media and posting a link, it sometimes will shorten the link. Will the shortened link still redirect and or track with the link tracker? Yes, yeah, so, well, so say for example, when you're utilizing any social media platform, as long as you have um, the link tracker already included in the URL, most of the times the link tracker URLs are already pretty small, so in terms of staying within characters, uh, you shouldn't have any trouble in that regard. So hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, and if not, you know, uh, you can send an email to Anjanette and we'll be able to go through in more detail um, uh, go through your question in more detail. But with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Hopefully you found this video interesting, this webinar uh, useful, and uh, we like those sweet likes. That's how we can keep making, uh, making more of these for you. So uh, if you have not, no further questions, then this will be Odoo Live signing off. We'll see you guys next time.